Former Virginia delegate Phil Hamilton is out of prison, but not quite a free man yet. Good evening to you. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm Stephanie Harris. Just a few hours ago, he was released to a halfway house. He talked only to 10 on your side's Andy Fox about his next steps. Yeah, behind me is the halfway house where Phil Hamilton will stay until Tuesday, and then he goes on home confinement. 10 on your side was with former delegate Phil Hamilton in August 2011, just before he was sentenced to over nine years in prison for bribery and extortion. In the sadness, what have you discovered? Um, how well grounded I am as a person. And we are with him today, almost eight years later, after he regained his freedom. I went into this whole thing saying they can take away my physical freedom. But not my mind, not my heart, not my soul. <laughs> Different tears before and after. Hamilton has always maintained his innocence. I, I just was not going to let them win. Um, and if I had become defeated and depressed and this, that, and the other, then they would have won. His two children picked up Hamilton from a Pennsylvania prison. A long ride home, yet joyful. What does it mean? to have your dad back. <laughs> Everything. There's no words. It's the best day of my life. Hamilton's son, Brandon. Daddy's home. <laughs> yep. Oh, it is. It's definitely shored up our faith. They checked their father into a halfway house. He will be there until Tuesday. He will then go live with daughter Meredith. I'm no different a man today than I was when I walked in, except for the fact that I have a, a stronger appreciation for my family and for my friends. So tonight, Phil Hamilton is here in this halfway home and he knows what's important tonight, family, friends, and freedom. In Newport News, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.